Hello everyone. Well, it's a hot, humid day here at Santa Ana Refuge. I'm here again just, you know, making this video as a follow-up. Today's video is going to be a synopsis of what the other videos were talking about pretty much. So you're just going to see a whole entire gathered, um, like, uh, I guess you could say you're going to hear a whole entire gathered word about what, you know, or an example, or get to, you know, experience an example of what all they are together. All of them are together pretty much. Now, from the beginning of time, we've come to this point where, I'm sorry if I'm fidgeting and walking around and pacing, but this is a wonderful place. Yet, unfortunately, in this place here, there's a shitload of mosquitoes, and I didn't bring my bug spray, you know, so, unfortunately, I'm kind of, like, having to slap myself every now and then, because these fuckers are huge, and they don't, they don't get off of you with you just swinging your hands. They're fucking mean. Like, they stay cling to you. They will not get off of you unless you smack them off. They're mean mosquitoes. <laughs> They're big-ass mosquitoes, too. Fucking sit on a penny. But anyways, fucking shit. Well, I'm going to move from this place and I'm going to continue walking, okay? But, yes. Whoa. From the beginning of time, we've been told that, you know, creation in itself, you know, pretty much just to start off, I'm not here to tell you where you came from. I'm here to tell you where we all came from, Okay. If you need something to help you understand all of this in a basic way, there is a way to gather all the information that you have listened to cart from cartoons you've watched. If you want to know yourself spiritually, there's many ways to gain understanding from everything, every experience in your life that you can remember to help define your spirit. From simply watching cartoons, like I said, maybe there's a reason why you liked watching Courage and you just didn't know it when you were little because as a child you don't question these things you just enjoy life as it comes at you so when you get older and you start learning how you can segregate life and be able to enjoy it here and there because unfortunately as you get older there are responsibilities you have to take much like a god who the more powerful he gets or the more within his domain he grows in he has to uphold to that in the most truest of his nature you know what I mean if you're chaos you'd be within chaos you know that'd be the area in which you in which you'd have to uh, you'd have to uphold, you know, and you'd have to uphold that in the, in, in, in the most orderly of manner, you know, because someone else, if you're not doing your job right, someone else is going to do it, and that'll just be the natural order of things because that is just what life does. Sorry, we're all just products of life, aren't we? The computer, the the, the this tree, all these butterflies around me, the fucking mosquitoes that keep coming in. My arm is fucking mold already by those fuckheads, you know. So from the beginning of creation, we've all just been trying to figure out how it's supposed to be, but it's okay because we don't know how any of that's supposed to work, guys. There is a there is a way you can come to understand it, of course. You can come to understand it in your own little way too, you know, how it'll make sense to you, just you. Even if everyone calls you crazy, you might even just come out in the test room coming out completely sane and probably being the most sane than a normal person because of the fact you got a little imagination. That's just what you do with your time. You know what I mean? There is a little bit of everyone and everything. And a little bit of everything and everyone. You know, there's some bitches out there who literally, they won't fucking, like, suck your dick or, like, fuck you until you give them something. Until you buy them something. That's like a spider, isn't it? Much like a spider. Right? Or, like, there's some, there's some women out there who... Not only want that, they also want your commitment plus your check. Not just what you buy them, because remember, you buy them shit already, but they want your check too. They'll leave you with like a hundred bucks, you know, just because they say that's what you do. That's what you can get to keep. That sounds like a praying mantis to me. She's buying off everything about you, especially your head. She got your dick, she got your money, and in the praying mantis world, she got your head. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna fuck that and procreate, create your seed, nothing here. And then she's able to eat your head. Makes sense, don't it? Then again, we also got people who are like, you know, polygamists, you know. Have many wives, many children. And got that in the other side of the world, right? Even here in, Te even here in America, probably even Texas, right? That's just how it all comes to be. 
And even then, here we are. Hello, everyone. Call this weird, but I actually happen to be making a video. Would you all like to say hello? Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually gonna be on YouTube, guys. So no, I'm walking around doing some studies. To be honest with y'all, y'all actually like in the right moment at the right time. I'm actually talking about what we're supposed to do with our time, right? Right? Like I was just telling y'all, right? It kind of sucks out there, right? Right? Weather and everything, right? A lot of people are gonna bitch and moan, but look, I'm not the only one out here. There are others out here. Right guys, it sucks out here right now, right? Yeah, the mosquito, right? mosquitoes, right? Mosquitoes are freaking huge, right? Like they're like the size of a penny and like when you try to waft them off of you, like they're just not, I don't even know what you're doing out here like that. Like, <laughs> you're a champ to be honest with you. Like, I'm already dying out here. But yeah guys, look, others out here loving nature, it's freaking tough out here. I'm sweating from like my top lip and Dave Chappelle made a huge joke about that. But yeah, what are y'all doing out here? Just enjoying the, uh, enjoying the hike? The trails, yeah. Hiking. That's pretty cool, y'all. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to show the people a good example of what it is to be good at being yourself. You know what I mean? Okay. That's what I'm trying to show. So far, I've come to this point where, like, I've made, like, six videos, you know, like, already. And this is supposed to be a synopsis of what it is I'm trying to show people. Now, one thing I've been trying to show you all and what I'm trying to show everyone here now with, you know, this lovely couple that I'm taking up their time but they're actually being kind to letting me speak and show that you guys, you know, that we're all doing something. You see them? They're all wafting off mosquitoes too. And I'm trying to wipe off sweat here. But it's all about what you make with your time, guys. Like, this lovely couple, I would love to be out here with my lady too. But she's got to take care of her mother. But there's a lovely couple out here doing what they got to do to make sure they're happy to do something and help themselves out. I could just be speaking out of my ass and y'all could just stop me at any moment. That would be totally cool too because why? We all need to know that we all are free to speak our minds and that these people are over here and I could just be talking to my ass and they could be brother and sister. I've done that so many times at my job. <laughs> Everyone makes these mistakes, you know what I mean? I'm excited to the fact that I just saw two people and I could be absolutely wrong. But that's totally cool. Because it's about what we make with our time, guys. And it sucks. The weather down here in the valley sucks. But you're never going to be able to enjoy a good moment if, like, you don't take it, right? Yeah. So I'm going to stop taking these people's moment. And I just wanted to show you guys that something super small, that all it takes is just to get up. And when you got the time, go out somewhere where there's, like, no TVs, no television, maybe just an annoying guy with a phone. And, like, say hi and why wave to them, you know? I'm just a complete stranger just trying to make someone's life a little happier. But I'm going to go ahead and get going because that's probably what will make their life happier. So... I'm sorry to bother you guys. Um, thank you for helping me out with this. I'm going to continue on talking to myself. <laughs> Later, guys. Well? Uh, we have come to the point... ...where I was trying to get to. The other day I was at work and there was this person who was telling me how white people, white people, white people this, white people that, right? How they're mean and how because her, her folks, like she's part of a family that is deaf. So she has to be the interpreter for them. And she was telling me how she has this great perception about how she sees the world differently. And so I think into retrospect, I'm like, oh, f cool. You know, someone who can show me that perspective that I've been looking for. But then all of a sudden, all I got from that was just a simple, like, was exactly what I did not expect. I got exactly what I did not expect. And that's cool, because like I said, like I told you with the, with the peeps that were up behind me, I could have been wrong. They could have stopped me. They could have said something. I could have stopped recording. But they were cool. And they just happened to be two people who are like that, where there are other people who aren't cool. What I'm trying to say with this part in, is this, is that with those videos that I've already made, they kind of help us to underline the basic understandings of our humanistic ways. You know, the part of us that are natural. Because naturally, like, I was kind of nervous when I was walking up to them. That's why I stopped talking. Because, like, I was like, man, these people are going to see me recording. Like, what, 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 am, what am I supposed to do? I mean, the other day I was recording at the beach, right? And there were people around me, but I wasn't walking up to them. This was another challenge that I had to take just to show y'all that, hey, sometimes along the road, you got to be willing to do what it takes to continue the movie. But, like, 
what I guess what I was trying to do was just show you that there's that part of us that although we are all different and although I could be wrong, there's a unity in it all, you know? There's a basic underlining in our humanistic ways that allows us to just say hi and bye. And honestly, when I was describing that person that I had to that I had to uh, come face to face with while I was working, I just couldn't believe myself, you know? Like this person's just finished telling me claiming a platform of of enlightenment. And all I'm thinking to myself is I would love to learn this person's way, but all they said was this. They sounded just like I had just finished arguing with my my grandmother before in the day before that. Well, like like uh, the, that same day, and I was telling her I was like, but like she was just saying I have this different way, but you know white people they're so mean and this and that, you know, like they just don't like them blah blah blah. And I look at her, I'm just like, but you know, the, right next to me, there's this person standing right next to me, right? And I tell her I'm like I'm looking at him and he's got like he's he's got like this beard. And uh, he's, he's a cheerful guy, you know, and he's like, he's always like, hey guys, how you guys doing? That's him. He's a cool fella. And I'm looking, I'm like, this guy's white. He's not mean, but I stay quiet, right? She keeps talking about all this, all this, you know, white mean, white that, white mean, and, you know, some people this. And she goes, and then she gets to the point of what she was trying to say. She was trying to say it because the reason why I say that, I mean, come on. Like, she goes, I mean, she, then she says, well, come on, like. There was this, uh, in, she said somewhere in the United States, there was this, uh, you know, I guess you could say this black or African-American a group coming out of a home. And there was, of course, this, you know, white or American uh, people in another home or, you know, a few people outside scoping what was happening over there. Mind you, that, that, those, uh, the African-American family or the, uh, the, the dark-skinned family, brown-skinned family, they, I don't know how to say this, guys. Everyone's nowadays so fucking picky that you can't even know. You, you got to be careful with what you say because you say something like this. You say cheese, you know, fattening, fat, fattening cheese, you know. You, you, feminists, you know, or extremists, everyone, you know, fucking, you can't say shit without anyone getting pissed off anymore. So it's just like, I don't know what to say anymore. But like, apparently those dark-skinned people over there, you know, they had been there for an entire week already. But this one day that these... Lighter skinned people happen to like be like, look, those people over there walking with a, out with a whole bunch of luggage. Let's wave at them. Let's say hello. So they say hello. They say wave. But the dark skinned people don't wave back to the white skinned people or light skinned people. Because they simply didn't do that, those light skinned people called the cops and said, hey, there's some shit going down. We need for you to call out of suspicion. Everyone gets pissed off because suspicion is not a crime. But... And the whole entire situation comes this. Out of all of that, I told her, you mean to tell me, I stop her when she's saying that. She's like, she goes, she goes, right, that's stupid. Right, like, why, why, why would I, why would I say hi? I mean, come on, like, you don't have to say hi. You don't have to wave. I'm like, you know what? She's got an absolutely right, you know, right judgment. Yeah, you don't have to say hi, especially you don't know the person. She's like, I wouldn't say hi. You know, I mean, fuck that. And, you know, I'm just like, the hell and I'd look at her and tell her but don't you see how like waving hi would have changed the whole entire situation I just said hello to those people back there I said hello and that changed the whole situation they could have been dicks too and told me to shut the fuck up but that's why like with a little humility I just said you know what man <laughs> maybe they'd be a little happier if I were gone you know I was starting to see it in their faces too it's like come on we're trying to enjoy ourselves you know and you're just like this guy walking around you gotta also know, you know, when to stop. And all I'm trying to say is, this person didn't know apparently when to stop because she was just, she just kept going on, going on. And I just looked at her, I'm just like, don't you realize how waving hello would have changed everything? And she goes, well, I wouldn't have said hi. I don't know them. Who the fuck are they? It's none of their business what I'm doing. I'm like, so much hate. I just say it like that, so much hate. I'm like, you're telling me that if I wave to you, out there, I'm like, you can't, I'm like, we're chatting it up and everything right now. You're telling me if I wave to you out there before you having known this guy that you're all chilling out with, I'm like, especially him, I'm like, you're not going to wave to me? I'm like, you know me already. You're telling me out there before, I'm like, now that you know me, you're not going to wave to me out there? You know, you know me now. Like, you're telling me that before you knew this guy, you weren't going to wave to me because it's none of my, I don't, it's none of your business who you are and blah, blah, blah. She stays quiet and she goes... She just says something like, 
well, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, and plus, like, you know, I just kind of like point down at her skin. I'm like, you're white. And she goes, but I'm Mexican. I'm like, I'm just looking at her. I'm like, but your skin is white. Your skin's white. The first thing, and like, I, I don't know, but what was going on in my head was just this. The first thing anyone's going to think about is the fact that you're white. It doesn't matter if you say you're Mexican. They see a white color. Like how now in the tone you see me as a brown or light brown color, which means you can signify that I'm not necessarily fully white. Understand? But you see, with all that being said, that whole entire situation, don't you all see that how by, you know, I don't know what's happened in her life. She, she, just, she just, her point was just that like from having to be in this different perspective of the world, having to be the one who who analyzes and speaks for the ones who are, you know, who can't hear, who are inaudible. I believe that's what it is. She said she had this whole entire perceptive way of looking, but yet she was just as ugly and as mean. Now, she may see this video one day and she may know I'm talking about her, but I would gladly love for that person to come out and speak up because, like, that right there is what's wrong with the world. That's what's wrong. The fact that we fail to understand that we as natural creatures... If, we're, if left alone for too long, we will seek companionship. That is what we do because we are a creature that cannot survive on our own. So within us, whether we're ugly or the most beautiful in the world, we're going to seek companionship. And if you're the last two human, human beings in the world, you're going to want to procreate. You're going to want to have sex, even if you deny it to the very end. One of y'all is going to rape one another. Something bad's going to happen. Or if ever, both of them are happy to be so good, then something good's going to happen. They'll probably have a family. <laughs> because good people compromise. Stupid asses. Sorry. Because everyone seems to understand, like, under think that good people are just going to sit down and respect each other's boundaries. Like, no. We're the two last people in the world. We want to survive. We need something to continue. How does that going to work? I'm a man. You're a woman. You can create life. We can start life all over. Shit, what do you need for me to tell you? You're going to be a queen? You're going to own all of this? What do you need? And then she's going to say, well, what must you have too? Do you need for everything to be at your will? Because that's not going to be. I'm not like that. And here comes the whole Adam and Eve argument, right? All over again. As to why you should have that and I should have this. Nigga, why don't you guys get up? And start creating a life. Start understanding how you as, a, as an animal in this world have a basic function to fulfill. <laughs> what else are we supposed to do as people? As people, like we define ourselves with a conscience and with, a, with a, the capability of making a choice. You know what I mean? As just an animal, we're just going about life and not really... We're just being an animal, you know? Not paying two shits about where we crap. So it's kind of like, where's Sky going? What's he trying to say? He just finished explaining and expressing, but little do you all know is that all this video is, is just a synopsis of what the last videos have been about. What are you going to do with your time? Do, are you sick and tired of being, like, I sound like a commercial now, are you sick and tired of being stupid? Here, why don't you listen to something intellectual? Instead of surrounding yourself with people who only smoke pot all day and only know how to do that, why don't you hang with someone who knows how to smoke pot and actually do something? Doesn't that make sense? Because you love smoking pot, right? That's a basic understanding a lot of people can understand. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna you know, smoke pot and don't want to really become part of the corporate industry, why don't you do something with your pot? Why don't you grow something? Why don't you go, I don't know, grow... Maybe you might actually enjoy being in the chemistry world of growing pot. But if you would stop smoking so much damn pot, you would feel a little life inside of you because little do you all know, smoking pot has pros and cons, much like everything in life. There's a natural system at play with everything and there's nothing we can do to exist, to like, to, 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 to have ourselves not be part of that. We have to know what time is in itself. And, and so from there, we can know how we can function as our own separate time. Because we have our own bio clock, everyone. All of this around me has its own time. It's all working on its own. Every tree has its own time. But yet, all life is one. And it's all based on one clock. 
that is the natural flow you always want to be working in while at the same time, you know, being able to dance while you're doing that. You don't want to just walk so stiffly, you know, knowing that you can walk the line. You want to be able to dance and spin and twist and everything, you know what I mean, as you're walking the line, you know what I mean? Because I'm still walking a line. Little do you know is I'm just going in that direction. Still walking a straight line, everyone, no matter what I do. Still walking forward. Even when they say you're looking back, if you're just looking back, it's because you're standing there looking back. That's all. No biggie. All you got to do is just start walking. Take your first step of faith. Everyone likes to say, they come up to, well, at one time I had someone say, do you got faith? And I was like, I got faith. I guess. I was trying to understand if, to have faith. Like, yeah, I... But it doesn't. It didn't make sense to say you got faith. No, I mean that doesn't make sense because faith is something that you do along with something. It's like, and then to uphold your faith, that's something else. And I'm just like, I don't know about faith. I'm like, do I got faith? Because there's some people who are faithless and they don't really know how to keep faithful. You know what I mean? They don't know how to hold their faith because they're just faithless people. What can we do about that? Then I thought about it deeply and I said, Nah, I walk with faith. They're like what? Why? Well simple, well simple, and simply put, if all I do is have faith, what am I doing with it? I got faith, but I'm just holding it here? Nah, that doesn't make sense to me. Faith doesn't seem like something to just be holding on to. It seems like something that's supposed to always naturally be growing in abundance. Not something I'm supposed to manifest, because I, for some reason I just can't manifest faith. And I have yet to really reach anyone who can manifest faith. I have yet to meet one human being, even of the most holiest of holiest, to manifest faith. Faith is something that is naturally there. Faith is just the part that when you're walking straight and you know that there's a trail in front of you, you're just going to keep walking straight because that trail is certain. That is a form of faith. But people don't tell you that is faith because they know they just tell you that's certainty. Or they don't even tell you. They just say just keep walking forward because you know you're going to keep walking forward. For example, uh, sorry, the sun. See that? That path, right? Or even the path right behind us. That's certain, right? Just keep walking and you're going to get there. Right? It's a system naturally at play that we created so that way we can walk on this path. Understood? Simple, right? This is what some people chose to do out of their time to make and create. That was their purpose and, their re and whatever reason they had supported that. They chose and created or chose to be in certain places at certain times within those natural aspects in their own times, in the environments. This environment has its own time. So therefore, while I'm out here, I'm on its time, but I'm walking on my own time being here because I chose to be here. Whereas on it, I'm walking on its time because, it, you see, I'm talking and walking and I'm not really actually like, really actually... Now I am. And honestly, that feels different. I, the wind is actually now, I can feel it brushing against my face. My inner centerness right here feels more lowered. My, my shoulders aren't as tense. I'm able to talk with more, uh, say more words with, more, with, uh, with taking less breath in or having to breathe again. Can't even burp. Feels pretty well. <laughs> so yeah, all of this video was, guys, was just a little walk in the park to help us have a nice basic understanding of what it is that I was trying to talk about before. Like, that's all. Just trying to show you what to do with your time trying to show you that no matter what we do there are basic instincts that we have as human beings trying to show you that whatever it is that you're doing being a you, you can be anything you want in the world you mustn't forget what you truly are the natural isness that is within you you know that can be anything for being a guitarist you may be working at a at denny's but in, in, as a server but in truth you're actually a, a musician so don't forget to write a song don't forget to make the time to write a song. Don't forget about yourself and feel hopeless that when it's time to do something to write to do for yourself that there's just no time. Don't feel like that. 
There is time. Time is all around us. It never ended. It comes in many forms. Right now, the time within me is sky. The time within that is tree. That sky up there, <laughs> the real sky, you know? All of this has its own time. All of it's going to do what it pleases. All of it's going to work as it should. All of it's going to play the function with its purpose and the reason that it carries to be able to do all of that. And it's never going to forget what it is. And you shouldn't be afraid to let it all go. It's okay what you're doing. I would, you know, like I've said before, I would rather you not murder someone. But, hey. Please don't do that, you know. Don't go out there and hurt someone. You know, it may... Because like I said, if you become a god of chaos and you go there and here, all you're going to wind up doing is just finding yourself pretty much being beat down by someone else who's supposed to govern chaos as well. It just goes from hierarchy to hierarchy to hierarchy. So when seeking... Hmm... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. When trying to start off, that's exactly what I was trying to say from the beginning of the source. When trying to just barely start, there are just certain aspects to gain or just to be able to learn to see so that way you can gain a grip on the part of you that is just natural. So pretty much all this video was was to help you see and gain a visual aspect and or or just some form of aspect within yourself to be able to gain in a natural way to gain a sense that hey this is the part that I that needs to just always just let be but there is a way I can turn this to be able to lead this life into that direction it's like Russ said in his song it's uh, something like speaking words into existence that's how I'm winning, something like that. Sky out.